The new Gita and her team have finally been fixed and she finally uses a decent ace. Unlocking Gita was so long, I had to spend about 5000 BP just to talk to her and she ended up flirting with Drayton instead. So I interrupted and asked her for battle. Not gonna lie, I was excited. Gita led off with her previous ace, Glimora, whilst I led off with Pelipa. And by the way, I had no idea what she would bring, so I just made a random decent singles team for myself. Pelipa set up Drizzle, so I thought I'd just use that to my advantage and just go for Surf. That one hit KO the Glimora. And so she then sent out Dragapult. Which I forgot how fast that thing really is. Unfortunately, it did outspeed me and take me out with a Thunderbolt. I actually thought I was going to sweep Gita's team with just Pelipa, but I'm glad I didn't. Otherwise, I would have been upset that she wasn't stronger and better than before. Now I had 5 Pokemon remaining, and so I sent out Reuniclus, who I knew could easily take a super effective move from Dragapult really well. Dragapult did way more damage than I expected, but still not enough to make me worried. I hit him back with my own Shadow Ball, and he fainted with one hit. Gita's next Pokemon was Espafra, who I was kind of worried about, as I did guess that she also had access to Shadow Ball. She did outspeed me and hit me first with the Shadow Ball, but it wasn't enough once again to make me worried. I hit Espafra back with my own Shadow Ball and she went kaput. Gita's fourth Pokemon was Avalug, so I decided to switch my Reuniclus with Infernape and try to take him out with a powerful fire type move. But I didn't pay attention to the rain, and I forgot that fire type moves are weakened in the rain, so Infernape barely did anything that turn. Avalog hit me back with Earthquake, but I did manage to survive. Even though Avalog's attack is quite good, Earthquake isn't a stab move, so I did manage to survive it. And as you might know, Raging Fury is like Outrage. It lasts for 2-3 to three turns before your Pokemon becomes confused, so I had no choice but to use Raging Fury again. And this time, it took out Avalug thanks to the rain stopping. The second last Pokemon Gita brang in was Chestnut, and so I just hit him as well with Raging Fury. The first turn he did protect himself, which was just a waste of time, because the second turn I did the exact same thing and knocked him out with one hit. Now the final Pokemon, the Pokemon I was expecting Gita to use as her ace from the start of the game was finally here. It was finally time guys and I was ready, so I stayed in with my Infernape and tried to take him out. Unfortunately, I did manage to take him out with one hit, and he returned the Stone Edge back at me. Gita just had one Pokemon left whilst I had 4, and one of them that I had was Staraptor. Now this bird, if you guys know, you know, it was time to wreck, and that's exactly what Staraptor did. And there we go, I defeated Gita, and she ended up giving me her pair of gloves to wear, which is quite sick. 